All right, an athlete is trying to lift some weights. This is question 49, by the way. <laughs> he successfully lifts 200 Newton weights, but when he tries to lift 400, he is unsuccessful. So he does lift his 200, but not, he can't do the 400, right? All right, so let's see what's going on here. We see a picture of him. Okay, great, here he is lifting it, and he can't, he can't hang here. All right. So, which of these correctly compares the amount of work the athlete does on the weight? Okay, well, let's define work real quick. Work is the ability to move an object in the direction of the applied force. Meaning, if I push up, the object goes up. If I push to the left, the object goes to the left. If I push to the right, the object goes to the right. So the work, it, whatever you, wherever you apply your force, the object has to go in that direction, okay? So with the weight lifter, he's applying his force upwards, and we know that he's able to lift 200 uh, pounds upwards. And so it's, his force is this way, and the object's moving this way. So this is work. All right, so let's see what we have. The athlete does work on both the 400 weight and the uh, 200 weight, Newton weight, and the 400 Newton weight. No, he does not. He can't lift them here. There's no work here, right? Even if he's trying real, real hard to pull them up, if he can't move them in the direction of his force, there's no work being done according to physics. Okay, the athlete does no work on the 200 Newton. That's wrong. This is where he is doing work, right? This is work. That's no work. So that's not right. Here it says the athlete does work on the 200 Newton weights. It's correct but not on the 400 Newton weight. That looks good. The athlete, do, the athlete does no work on either the 400 or the 200 or the 400. That's not right. So, and I just rambled through that. Hope you caught all that. The answer choice here is correct because this is where he's doing work and here he is not. Answer choice C.